KRB, a cumulus media station. Good morning, everyone. We ready? Live from the TFCU Energy Studio. The Rula and Ryan Show with producer Eric, Special K, and Sam. Ryan's out, not feeling well today. He was in just for a little bit, and then he's out. But we are going through the most popular Halloween costumes. Is this time to think about that, friends? It is September 23rd. And you could rally at the last minute and try and go to one of those giant Halloween stores with all the scary stuff at the door that make you jump scare. But then they're, they're out. by And then everything is sold out and yeah. super expensive anyway. Or you could really just start planning now. And think of all the stuff that's trending this year. You got Deadpool, Wolverine. Now, Deadpool... That would be an easy costume, but hot. And you have to wear the mask all yeah, how night. How are you supposed to eat? They're Seriously. so expensive. I looked at the costumes because yeah. that is a really, like, hot yeah. costume. Super I really trendy. Like it. What are we talking about, expensive-wise? Uh, like, like, the good-looking, authentic bucks? ones, like, around 200 Damn. Oh, my God. And then they, like, kind of custom make it to you. So it's going to wow. take, like, a month from China. So that, and now you're going to wear it every single Halloween, then? Because that's a big investment to wear it once. Yeah, I mean, it's a really hot costume. I mean... Hot, literally, because you're sweating in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, uh, um, still sure. doing well in theaters, and you know you could just be Beetlejuice. Who's the radio friend we knew? Eric lost some bet, had to be Beetlejuice for a week. And my buddy uh, Jay Bird in West <laughs> Palm, Kevin, Virginia, and Jason show. He he thought there's no way he'll make a hundred million. If it does, I'll I'll dress up as Beetlejuice for a week, and he That's lost. Right. So makeup and Yikes. all, going everywhere. It's Bertle juice. Uh, Bertle Juice. Um, the Descendants from Disney. If you don't know this, it's such a great series because it's the children of the villains that have all come together and it's a storyline with them. Dove that's Cameron started what that's out. About? Yeah, the Descendants okay. are the descendants of, of the, the villains. villains. Okay. It's like Ursula's right daughter. Stu- uh, time, Ahmad. Yeah, yeah like this is just... like I'm out of that Disney thing. Oh, because you yeah. know we had um, uh, Maz. Uh, Jabrani, Jabrani yeah. in the studio, he plays Jafar in The Descendants. And I totally forgot mm. to bring that up with him because I told my kids, oh, you know, Jafar was in the, the studio today. They're like, what? Jafar was there? Like, that's like a whole other <laughs> oh. following he's got hmm. because he played Jafar. So Jafar's son is one of the Descendants. And then, you know, Ursula's daughter. And then you've got the evil queen from Snow White, the one that wants to be Mirror Mirror on the Wall, beautiful. Then you've got um, Maleficent's daughter. Dove Cameron played Maleficent's daughter, Mal. It's a really clever series. They've done four movies now. Now, some kids weren't very keen on the fourth one, but you can pick any of those characters. Uh, Bridgerton. Oh, yeah. We could all be oh. a character from Bridgerton. Talk about a hot costume. That, yeah. Them big old dresses. So There's a lot. Much. There's a lot. Well, Basically, top, you just you're... smush up your bosoms into your neck <laughs> yeah. and then wear a really hot dress around would them. Would people even know what you're dressed as? Yeah, yeah. I think that if you just have smushy cleavage. Well, which girl would you be? And then, right. Well, well, it depends on your size and your color of your hair. You could That's be true. Daphne, you could be uh, Francesca, you could be Penelope, you could be Eloise. I'd but. probably be Eloise. You'd be Cressida Calpa with all those crazy, like, cinnamon rolls in her oh, hair. Oh, yes. One oh, of the, the characters always has these crazy hairstyles, and so people have gone crazy on Instagram and TikTok saying, Cressida Calpa is showing up for the ball, and she's got all these insane things, like, you know, like colanders in her hair. Or you could do the, the wig that had the moving part in it. Oh, oh that yeah, was yeah. cool. Yeah, the yeah, price yeah. of that, though? The bird, no. the queen. That's probably expensive. Um, other big Halloween costumes you could start working on Wednesday, of course, always uh, with um, from the Adams uh, Family, Jenna Ortega. Jenna, Jenna Ortega. How about uh, someone just text the uh, Australian, not a very good break dancer? Oh, oh my God. That's the jump weird. Yes. This year. I'm that's crowning a... you king or queen of Halloween. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. the not that break dancer easy. from Australia. Sam can do that that's going to be a big you don't one. You like to dance, right? And that's easy. I like to dance. Yeah, just Khaki get like and a green. green. Yeah, Khaki yeah. and green. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sam, you could be that. I guess she likes to dance. She's just that good at it. You've never seen me dance, Eric. Well, like, we can, why don't we play some music? Oh, let me go. Yeah. I love cameras. I've been recorded. No, we've seen you dance. Our cameras. When we do the. Friday free for all. They'll record it. Nail. That's just like, like a, you guys. Listeners always make fun of all of us. Yeah, they do. I mean, they're I'm like not. a mod's the only one that can dance. Uh, sometimes. And Kevin. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> I need a little liquid courage right, to really exactly. bust the move. Other other things on the list for most popular Halloween costumes. If you're just tuning in to the Rule and Ryan show, it's time to get thinking about that. Minions. Basically, a bunch of Twinkies running around with goggles. <laughs> so where do you find that costume? You know as what? We have minion costume. That's like, exactly <laughs> what they look. like. It is a hundred percent Twinkie. With goggles. And they're like, oh, and oh, overalls. Oh, 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 oh. You have to wear the blue overalls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Overall. Are they, they all wearing overalls, every one of them? I think so, right? It's like that denim. Yeah, basically, the only thing different is one has one eye. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Couple eyes two. and stuff. That's the one kids movie, y'all, I have not leaned into. What? I have not watched one Minions movie, Banana. and I don't want to. Banana. But my kids are obsessed. <laughs> yeah. they, they saw Minions. So what's the last one? Minions 4? Oh, I don't even know. They saw it twice in the theater. Yeah. Really? Twice. The soundtrack to those are really good. That's where uh, Pharrell's Happy came oh, from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh. yeah. 
they have really good soundtracks. Let's I see, haven't seen else? a single one, though. No. <laughs> um, the horror movie classics are still go-to costumes, whether it's Freddy Krueger or Michael Myers or it's, um, what's his name, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw oh. Massacre. Those are still, like, Jason. Jason from Friday the 13th. Those are still the classics. Those are still out and about. So, People still want that. Wicked is on that, too. Even if the movie out, right? hasn't come out yet, everyone's known that on Broadway for years and years and years. Um, so you could be Elphaba, or you could be uh, Glenda, or you could be... Well, those are really the only two people now. Otherwise, no one knows who you are. Kevin, are you into you in Halloween? I know you went out a long time ago with a big group as the Ropers. Only if my f- group of friends is going to do something coordinated. Otherwise, I'm not really into you it. You did glow. I remember Gorgeous Ladies yeah. of Wrestling. Yes. yes. <laughs> Who'd you dress up as? A- uh, uh, Zoya the Destroyer. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that chick. Not the welfare queen? What's she look like? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's Zoya the Destroyer's costume look like? I feel like she's wearing a gold bikini like Princess Leia. No, it was a purple tights um, bodysuit. Okay, like was it like morph one suit. shoulder sling or something? Was yeah, she supposed to be the Russian, right? Something like yeah. Her well, character the Russian was girl Russian. that we saw in the original Glow, the the real wrestling. Remember that yeah, blonde haired lady? That girl, Glow. What but the main we... girl did it. What was her name? That main actress. Uh, I don't remember. Not, That's a really long time ago. She's from right? Community. Yeah, she's from Wait, Community. Is that Brian, Dang what's it. the guy that got Franco, changed she's from married NBC? To Dave Franco. She's married. Oh, that was the daughter of Brian somebody. You know, I forget it's her name. On the tip of my tongue. Mm, obviously, it's not important. If enough. you see her, you'd be like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, the character." <laughs> She's in lots of movies. It's obviously, not important enough. She's in a lot of um, stuff. Other big uh, popular Halloween costumes for this year: uh, Inside Out Two. People are dressing up like anxiety or joy or anger. But if you want to be like disgust, you got to go all in with the green. Same thing with mm-hmm. Alphabet. You got to go all in with the green. Mm-hmm. Or you want to be like sadness, you got to go all in with the blue. You know, you could be joy and not have to dress up too much, a little pixie wig and just whatever you are. Mm-hmm. I kind of look like if you put, if, I feel like joy from Inside Out 2 is a is a hybrid of Wilma from the Flintstones. Just ch- change the hair. But I feel like her outfit, I, I don't know. It's a stretch, but it's it's pretty simple to be joy. Like it's simple to be Wilma, which the Flintstones still is a popular costume at the Halloween store. But I don't know if really? kids know what that is. I don't no. think kids know what that is. They can't. No. Oh my God! Do you remember last year when my son that and movie I were came in out the nineties Halloween store and he held up what he thought was a butt, <laughs> and he goes, "Oh my, Daddy well, should it, be this." What was it? It was, it was a man, man part. It was a man yeah, part. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember it was man that audio. Part. Yes. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, because there was, like, pickles and peanut butter and jelly, and there's grilled cheese sandwiches, and he goes, look at this, the butt. I go, it's not a butt. It's not a butt. And they're selling selling this at, like, the Halloween? Yes, at the Halloween store next to all those, like, kitschy outfits. What was the name for that one? I don't know what the name was. He didn't look at the name. He just Richard Hunt. He just saw, like, (laughs) what would have... Imagine, like, if you're drawing a cartoon bottom. It's, like, two little... I can't. Anyway. <laughs> you get the idea. You get the idea. Oh, my uh-huh. God. Anyway. You have to be careful, parents, when you go to those stores. Yes, please do. And also, I don't think it's a good idea to go to the store to torture your child with fear in general. Because those things those things <laughs> jump out. Oh, I love her. those videos. I'm sorry. It's hilarious. But the kids, the kids are kind of like, I want to be scared, but I don't want to be scared. You walk in first, Mommy. You walk in first, Mommy. So I'm like, okay. Let me see what's going to get me first before we... Well, even Home Depot has all of those, like, Halloween yes. decor, and Santiago yes. just waves and goes, hi, hi, as the thing's like... And, and Sam, at like, Home Depot, hi. they have the Annabelle creepy dolls at his eye level. Yes. They have them on the like, floor. Hi. You're taking them to oh, Haunted House in a few years? No, I'm not taking them to a Haunted Take them this year, right now. Five. No, absolutely not. <laughs> but he waves to them. People are texting us what we're, what we're missing. Allison Bree. That's Allison oh, Bree. Yes. Yes. Isn't that... What's his name's daughter from the news? Brian, what's his name? No, you're NBC. thinking of uh, um, the she girl was, from Girls. Yeah, she was in okay, Girls. Yeah, that's her. Uh, she was in Get Out to Allison Williams. But her name was uh, yes, yes, yeah, Allison yeah, yeah, Williams. Yeah, yeah. And also, what happened to her? She just disappeared. I don't know. Um, Ooh, somebody said the Flintstones Peter movie Pan. was Get on out, Netflix, so the kids know who they are. And there's too many texts to count for how many people think. Tell me, I've got to get on the Minions bus. I'm not on the Minions. People bus. People love that. Like people have Minions tattoos. Really? They do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You go to Universal Studios <laughs> in Orlando. It's like. Minions everywhere. Everywhere. So Minions if I haven't watched Australia. Minions or Harry Potter, Universal Studios is useless to me. <laughs> nice. The rides are still fun. The I rides are still fun. I just go on the rides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's good to know. Butterbeer is good, too. Ugh. Okay. Let's, uh, that. It's something. like butterscotch. Oh, it's awful. No. Sounds, awful. Oh, sounds, sounds very on. sweet. It Maybe is. try it Tuesday. We'll find some. <laughs> butterscotch. It's gross. Coming up next, we need to take your calls on Romance or No Chance. It's always fun to find out about weird or wacky dates that people have had. And you don't have to have gotten married. Although many times people surprise us and they did get married. But you're going to tell us about a first date that you went on that was just so wacko. 
We're going to guess based on the events of that first date if you guys agreed to see each other at least one more time. If you went out for a second date, then you checked the box that it worked. Yep. Even if it didn't work in the end, you still chose. Because we're trying to guess if to you're going to go person one more time. On a second date or no second date. Exactly. Basically. That's why we call it romance or no chance. 833-390-KRBE is our phone number. Call us up with your stories next on The Rule and Ryan Show. <laughs> it's the Rule and Ryan Show on 104.1 KRVE. It's time for romance or no chance. You call us at 833-390-KRVE. You tell us about a weird date you had, first date. It has to be a first date because we're going to guess if you guys agree to see each other at least one more time. I mean, we've had some real wacky dates <laughs> oh. and we're like, I hope you never saw this person again. Well, I gave him one more shot, mm-hmm. and then I knew I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You're like, oh, no. Yeah, at least you tried. All right, so let's go to the phones. We'll hear your story, and then hear around the room between me. Hi, I'm Rula, if you know the show. And the, you know the show, and there's Eric and Spencer and Sam in here. Uh, we're going to guess if y'all saw each other again. Hi, Brittany. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Brittany. Hi. All right, so remember... You're going to hit us with all the details of this date, but not so many details that it makes it obvious yeah. whether you never saw this person again or if y'all are married now or something. So just give okay. us the details of the first date and we're going to guess. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so we had actually met through like Facebook and we had chatted for a little bit and he's like, hey, well, why don't we go out and have a drink together? And I'm like, okay, sounds great. Well, I drove and met him at his apartment and when I got there to get in his truck um he had to start his truck with a breathalyzer (laughs) and so I kind of looked and was like so what's the plan here are you not going to be drinking because you're waiting for a drink like (laughs) yeah and he's like uh no I figured you could you know you could enjoy yourself and I'm like I'm not going to a bar with you for the first time and having a drink and you not drinking, you know, right. maybe not in the right state of mind and you be fine. Um, no, he didn't so warn you though. Just, he didn't, he, he did not warn you about the breathalyzer. Just, he just, he wow. did not warn me. He offered to drive, which I was like, that's nice. But he did not warn me that I was getting into that at all. Okay. okay. Stop right there. Okay. <gasps> now <laughs> I'm going to put her down. Just uh, so now. Why? Uh, what else did I you want, ask? I want to know where, where they ended up going. Oh yeah. Ask her. Where okay, did you okay, end okay. up going? Since you said, I don't want to go to a bar with you. Where'd you end up going? Like Starbucks. We we ended up just staying at his apartment and watching a movie. Did he and have a, we drink Coca Cola? Oh, he didn't have a drink. Oh. Hmm. That's strange. I mean, at least See, I feel drink. like that oh, yeah. answer right there, they definitely romance. I think so she maybe he, absolutely went on another date. Because if that was such a turn off, she would not have gone to his house to watch a movie. But it's so awkward though. Yeah. How do you get out of it? Like how do you Well so, like, oh, we got to do something. You know you're going to do something. I know, but Eric, as a girl, yeah, I would not. Have if you're already house. put off by something, there's no way you want to be at that guy's apartment. And and she said that he had to tr- start his truck with the breathalyzer, so they were going to go to a destination. Wait, I, 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 where did y'all start out? Where were y'all in the truck where you weren't already at his place? She he came to get you. Or she went to his apartment. Oh, his apartment. And so he offered to drive okay, that's, uh, her. You say okay. romance? Okay. I say romance, yes. So they just stayed there. Sam's yes. Well, right. I say she gave him a chance since she was already at the apartment, Sam. It's different about yeah. dr- being driven to the apartment. I said, I guess I'll I say still no. go. So, romance or no romance? I'll I say, say yes. she. I'll I say, say yes. she stuck around for a second date. If I don't know if they're together now, right. I'll say she stuck around for a second date. Sam says also she stuck yes. around. Kevin says stuck around. Eric, what do you say? I say no. I felt like she just felt like okay. I'll just stay here for one date and then get the hell out of here as soon as I can. Okay, Brittany, tell us the answer. Was there a second date? Um. Yes, and we are. Currently married for going on six years. Wait, whoa! Oh, and wait, does he still have to start his car with that thing? Yeah, <laughs> he had to start his car with that thing for you know quite a while, but oh. he um, he made a big life change, and that wow. right there showed me that you know that was that was someone worth guy. giving a chance to. Now, yeah. if he would have been like. Well, let's go inside and have drinks. I would have been like, eh, yeah. That's no. what I was wondering. Or you, can oh, you blow right. it for me? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought you yeah. would be yeah. like, you blow it for me so the truck can start. Uh, how long did you guys uh, date before y'all got married? Like from that first date with the breathalyzer truck situation until engagement, how long, how much time passed? Um, so we got engaged about four or five months after we started dating. Um, once that first date happened, we were like inseparable and now we've got a fam- like we're a family of six and, nice. um, oh, wow. yeah. now do you Facebook tell people, romance. do you tell people that story 
Like your first. Oh yeah, day. <laughs> is that your story? Like your pa- did your parents know? Not, and I'm praying that he does not hear this on the radio. Oh! I don't tell anybody else. <laughs> what was his name again? We actually we actually hid it for a while from my parents because there were times where we would like go in his truck to my parents' house and he would leave like he'd say his goodbyes and go out to the truck and start it uh-huh. before I went outside with them because you know they're older so they always walk out and wave goodbye oh, 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 and we oh, never wanted them goodness. to see. But after, like, a year of hiding it, they finally saw. And they were accepting because they knew that, like, he never went and had drinks or anything like that. So it was Wow, it was for a year he had that? After he started dating? How, how long total did he have the breathalyzer truck starter yeah. upper? A little over a year and a half. Hmm. Wow. wow. That seems like a long time. So. I remember the first time I ever saw that was well, the movie 40-Year-Old Virgin. He could drive. They allowed him to drive in that yeah. manner. Yeah. He changed his life around yeah. that. Remember Leslie Mann goes, here, can you just blow oh, yeah. into this real quick and turn Steve my Carell. car on? <laughs> Steve Carell. The uh-huh. 40-Year-Old Virgin. Oh, my God. So crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations, Brittany. Happy life. Uh, Thank thanks for you. sharing your story. Sorry and thanks for listening to the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all had faith Four. except for Eric. He, yeah. didn't, right? he didn't want to, to believe that. Just... Holly is up next. We're doing Romance or No Chance. She tells about a weird or wacko first date you had. We're going to guess if you agree to see each other at least one more time for a second date. Hi, Holly. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hey, morning. All right. Yeah. Don't give us so many details that makes it obvious, but go ahead and tell us your story and then yeah, we'll take a guess. Of course. So, um, decided to go on a double date with this guy um, and we went to dinner and a movie. Um, everything was fine. Everything was good until we got back to his house. Uh, he got sloppy, sloppy drunk mm. and puked all over the couch Ew. next to me. Ew. Jesus. And this is his couch at his yeah. place, Didn't right? Make it not to the yours. Bathroom. Yeah, how did he not make it to the bathroom? And he was just talking? To and... make it, well, because he, no, because he was just drunk. He was just so sloppy drunk. It was just bad. Oh, no. um, and, and you I said have, it was his I place. I have a metophobia. Okay. I have a metophobia, which is the fear of vomit. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Does it make you throw oh, up? Yes. No, no, it just, it gives me sympathy stomach, but I, I just, I freak out and I have panic attacks oh when people throw up near me. Oh my God. <laughs> I think we all okay. No. Is there I anything no. else? I guess no, twice, no, no, no. no, this no. is his house, right? He didn't throw up on your couch. It was his couch. No, his couch, his okay. couch. Okay. Oh. Was it one of those places where you can drink while you watch the movie? Is that how he got so drunk or <laughs> he, did you sneak it in? No, it was, he had a bunch of white Russians when we got back to his house. Oh my God, white Russian. Oh, That's no. a vomit oh. inducer. Oh, you guys, 18? <laughs> oh, all that cream. Oh, oh man. It was, it was not pretty. It's right. dessert, oh, though. God. I mean, it is. It is, oh. yeah. Oh. What do you think, I guys? Mean, I don't. Uh, I'm going to just go with. No, just to be opposite. I don't have a feeling either way. Cause I, I didn't don't know. get a feeling from her. I don't know if she liked him that, that much because you can kind of be like, oh, I feel sorry right. for you. But I'm going to say no because she was like, this is gross. Just she kept sloppy. it very neutral. Tied to the vest. Yeah. She's a good poker player. I'll go no for Holly. What do you say, Sam? No second date. I'm going to say yes to second, second date. date. Okay, Kevin. No. Okay, Eric. I don't think so. So three if no's she's got and that yes. phobia... Mm, right, first date. Yeah, yeah. But maybe he just. You're ate supposed to be your best on your first something. date. I don't know. I okay. don't know. I'm gonna say yes. Emetophobia. Was it the deal breaker? Yeah, the crusher. Holly, what is the answer? Did y'all see each other again for at least one more date? <laughs> no, but oh! I ended up marrying the guy that I went on the date with. The, the double date. The guy that was with him. The guy, his friend that we went on the double date yeah. with. I ended up marrying him. What? Whoa! How did that happen? Tell us how that happened. What happened to that girl? They were both white, but they barf so, and they looked at each other. Ew. I love. No, so um, I actually became really, really good friends with um, his name is Zach. Uh, I got I became really good friends with his girlfriend Haley, and she ended up passing away um, like a year later. Uh, oh, and geez. from like, a heart condition, we didn't know she had. Oh um, no! Yeah. And then that brought you so all together. I stayed in, yeah, we we stayed in contact, and I I gave him a TV and stuff, and one thing just kind of led to another, and we ended up together a couple years after she passed. What about the other guy? Did you have to, was he like at the wedding and stuff? Yeah, how weird is that? <laughs> Oh, he no, he actually he actually randomly called my husband the other night and was like, "Hey man, this is still your number. How's it going? <laughs> you still married?" <laughs> if you hadn't barfed all over your couch, I wouldn't have found my bride. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks. Wow. Wow. Right? Yeah. That is really something pretty... else, Holly. How long have you been married to your husband? Uh, it makes five years in October. Look at you guys. October what? I'm just curious. I'm yeah. also an October wedding. What's your day? October twentieth. Oh, I'm twenty four. Nice. Look at us. All right. Maybe that was the Saturday that. that yeah, that Saturday it fell on that Saturday. Yeah. Holly, thank you so much for listening to our show. You have a great day. Thank you, guys. Okay. Have a good one. Take care, bye. It's romance or no wow. chance, guys. I've You're telling us about a weird date. I like and- those date stories where they went on double dates and they fell in love with the other person. Or-
Stuff like that. I have a friend who was the wing woman for a friend who said, I met this guy and his friends in town. I need a wing a wing woman mm-hmm. because he I want him. It's weird. Right. He's here for business with his friend. What are we going to do? And my friend who was the wing woman married that friend. Oh, that's but cool. But the other two didn't. But the other two did not. Yeah. That's Isn't that cool. funny? That's, that's cool, cool stories. Okay, let's go to Sarah on the line at 833-390-KRBE. Sarah, good morning. Welcome to Romance or No Chance. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Yeah. Okay, tell us the story, but not so, so many details that we guessed the answer. Let's go. Back. So he started his first day working with me. Okay. I was like, oh, God, he's so cute. So that night we were, like, flirting the whole day. I was like, okay, let's go out for dinner. We actually had an amazing first date, and then, like, the next day at work, he came in bragging to everybody about how he's, oh, it's my first day, and I'm already going out. Oh, and, and, oh, and, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. You can't say that. You can't say that. Hold on, hold on. Okay, he was sitting there oh, acting God. like he is, he is the, the kid's pajamas. Crap. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at me. All the <laughs> yeah. girls want me out here. I'm already dating everybody in this uh-huh. joint. Okay, that's what Sarah was saying before we had to cut out of her because it, what happens is it cuts it off and people didn't hear the whole story. So we recap. This guy's uh, first sorry. day in the job. I'm Sarah sorry. hits it off with him. They go to dinner that night, and the next day, this guy comes to work bragging that he's already the cat's pajamas. That sucks. All right, do we think that she had a second date or not? I'm going to say no because she said ew, and the arrogance was the turnoff. Yes. You're not going out with me again, making people think Unless that I'm messing around. she did it on purpose, Kev. Now remember... You and Rula, whoever gets this right, wins. Opa? And the belt? No, 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 no belt. No, 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 that's my belt that's still. That's what we're fire. That's a rather oh. quiz. That's my belt still. Let me get my belt over here. I, I say know. yes. My belt on. Uh, Kev yes, says yes. Second date. You say no. Rula. I say no. Because she just got turned off with yeah, this I arrogance. Yeah, I say no. I feel like no as well. Yeah, so Ooh, Kev- three no's here we go. yes. Either Kevin gets it or Rula wins. All right, Sarah, what is the answer? Did you go out with him one more time? Kevin wins because no. we are now married Whoa. and we have a four-year-old son. Oh, wow. How did that happen, Mr. Arrogance? Look at me. I'm all over this place. <laughs> How did you he get He came this? and apologized to me after that because my friend went to him and was like, you do know that she literally has guys all on her phone. She can go out with any of them. Uh-huh. Oh. And he came and apologized. Okay, so he apologized to you, and then how long did y'all date before you got engaged? Uh, I'd say about, it was really fast. We got engaged after about six months. Wow. Oh, wow. And now you have a four-year-old son. Especially that's, nowadays. Yeah. Wow, that's. We've been married for six years, and we have a four-year-old son. Congratulations. Awesome. Wow, Congrats. I did not see that coming, Sarah. No. <laughs> I did not. Oh. <laughs> That was wow, good. Good congratulations. Job. Definitely you not arrogant up. anymore. Okay, uh, good. He learned. That's good. He apologized. You're not that's down nice. about your two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, that's what's fun about romance or no chance. We get thrown off like that. Uh, I thought huh? for sure this guy. You yeah, can't be yeah. that, dude. Wow. I could I could tell. I could just I could oh, feel it. Oh, oh yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you believe in love. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he was like really yeah, right. proud of like, yeah, like, yeah. Like she's mm-hmm. proud. Like she was kind of probably like, yeah, I'm getting bragged about because mm-hmm. I'm the ish too. Mm-hmm. Someone said now those breathalyzers have cameras. Oh. Oh, so yeah. You can see I'm who's sure they do. That. So you can't get your kids to blow on okay. it for you. <laughs> wow. Blow dark real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Coming up next, it's a hybrid of two things. It's celebrity scoop and it's solar Sam time. Oh, she's coming back out. How is Solar oh, Sam going to be intertwined into the scoop? Uh-oh. And it has to do with a huge anniversary that happened yesterday in pop culture. Hmm. So it's three things Ooh. all together. Solar Sam, she loves her zodiac signs. Solar yeah. Sam and her zodiac signs, the horoscopes of this pop culture uh, moment. I'm going to give that incense. That, that has affected that everybody you know. Crap you like to light up in here? It's yeah. gross. Incense. Incense. Like yeah. Champa. Oh, oh. We'll so do it next on the Rule and Ryan Show. That celebrity scoop is going to go boo, 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 boo. You want it? Now it's time for celebrity scoop. Hollywood. It's <laughs> celebrity scoop. On KRVE. Brought to you by Taqueria Sarandas, where Eric and I got to meet Jeremy Pena, whose birthday was yesterday, and we are really hoping for Jeremy Pena to walk it off for us in the ninth. Mm. As we rallied back after giving up four runs in the top of the ninth, we were nine to eight with Jeremy Pena at bat. Didn't happen. That's okay. We just need one win out of the next three games. So tonight, let's go. Mariners are in town. 
Let's go, Strohs. All right. So yesterday was the 30th anniversary of the premiere of Friends on TV. Mm. It was the pilot episode where Rachel walks into Central Perk, the coffee house, in her wedding dress after running away from Barry. Sam was in diapers. Only to get us to believe that Monica and Rachel have had such a tight friendship their whole lives, yet Monica was not invited to this wedding. <laughs> yeah, they pretty much were only high school. Weird. Monica's high school like, friends. oh my God, I went to high school with her, but... Did she go to college? They went to college, but they don't talk about that. Because remember, Ross and Chandler were in college. Yeah, that's, and, they went. and then Monica and Rachel went to a college party. Yeah, so they, they never talked about them going to college. No, but it's so interesting. Anyway, it's what's always on television all the time. And now you know them. And if you don't want to know them, you know them. You know Ross, Monica, Rachel, Chandler, Joey, Phoebe. You know them. They're on all the time. They're probably on right now. We start flipping cable channels. <laughs> see them. So yesterday, because of the 30th anniversary of the show that lasted 10 seasons until its finale, it could have lasted more, but they were like, we're out. Um, this Zodiac list is for the characters you've seen on Friends. And then Seller Sam will tell us the, the horoscope for the day for that character. Oh. And, you know, there's only six Friends, but there are 12 Zodiac signs. So yeah, what are still- we going to do? It's other characters on Friends that you've come to know. Maybe not love, but you know them. Gunther. So for Aries, we have Chandler Bing. What would be the Aries line for the day, Solar Sam? Equinox blessings. Libro season begins today. Focusing your awareness on partnership. Are you ready to bridge the gap with others? What's a Libro? Libro season starts? Libra. Hey, Libra. Oh, Libra. <laughs> yeah. Libra yeah, season. Hey, Libra. Right? Bro. Right? I'm a right. Libra. <laughs> Um, yeah. Shut up. Dude, 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 These are Solar Sam words. <laughs> yeah. People Magazine determine which character relates to each of the 12 Zodiac signs, uh-huh. and that's why this is how they're listed. Some mm. of them are some minor characters, but of course, we got the main six. Rachel Green is up for Taurus. Solar Sam, what's Taurus need to know today? Work and health and need of balance. Say hello to Libra Zizan. Mm. It's time to refine your daily routine. Refine. Refine. <laughs> Refine. I was like, refine? Like refine it? Refine. Or refine. (laughs) It's refined. You need to refine it. Refine. All right. Well, how about for um, Virgos, September birthdays, Monica Geller is the Virgo on the list. What's the horoscope for them? Mm. That's also my dude and my daughter and my brothers. Oh, your finances need balancing. Get a handle on your books. Uh Get a handle on your books. With this first season, even out your spending. So, yeah, check that pocketbook. Okay, pocketbook. <laughs> also, actually, I lied because <laughs> Libra is half, I mean, because September Sorry, is half Virgo, half Libra. My mom's the 29th. What would that be? That's Libra because that's Libra. my brother. That's Libra. So, my brothers are Libras, but my daughter and my husband are Virgos. So, Libra is Ross Geller. What's and that? And it's for today? happy Libra season. season. Yeah, it's Libra. You're season coming now. into the spotlight as the sun shines brightly on you. The scales. Are you feeling the glow? Yeah. Hmm. No. The reason it's Libra season is because the 21st of the month is usually where it flips the sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah, October or the 22nd, 23rd, the October right? 22nd, yep. Yeah, so um, that's why it's the season mm-hmm. now for Libra. About Aquarius mm-hmm. for Sam and myself? Aquarius is also Phoebe Buffay. I, oh, my oh. least favorite character. Oh, oh she's fine. I hate What's her. your moral code? Issues of justice can... Uh, oh. I don't Uh-oh. know that word. Pre- oh, oh, no. What? Permeate, 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 permeate. 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 Got it. Issues of justice can permeate your awareness during Libra season. Hmm. Explore what feels right to you. You should have told me before, and I got a copy and throw this in chat GPT and said, Yeah, these don't even write make it sense. as a third third grader would like to read it. So we can understand it. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> How about Joey Tribbiani? He's a Capricorn, according to this zodiac sign list for the premiere of Friends from 30 years ago. What's uh, the Capricorn got it on deck today? Capricorn. Was that what month is that one? That's December twenty second to January twenty mm-hmm. first or something. Twentieth. Yeah. Capricorns, it's your time to boost your reputation. Focus on building your professional relationships during the Libra season. Get mm-hmm. people on your team. Mm-hmm. Now, who is in charge of these horoscopes? And the, like a solar sample? Are you part of like a a cult mm-hmm. and they have one leader and then <laughs> that solar person decides? This ring. one is really it's an email blast. <laughs> it is not. It's a newsletter. <laughs> this one was really heavy on. Uh, I feel like work and finances. Hmm. The one that I clicked. I just on. assume they USA copy and paste today. and then they use that one for Aquarius. You move it around. Months. I think you can yeah, really, yeah, because I feel like you can look into like uh, relationships. Mm-hmm. 
But I feel like fortune cookies have was... more say than this stuff. Nah, fortune cookies have turned into an ad now. They're so dumb. Yeah. They're like the tagline of your email. Somebody always has some oh, yeah. some quote at their tagline. Yeah, it's not even a fortune. It's a Be quote. your best you today. That's right. a fortune cookie now. That yeah. is. They don't tell you like Zodiac yeah. stuff. Yeah. So just kind of we're not going to read the rest of them, but they had Leo as Mike, Phoebe's husband. Cancer was Mr. Heckles, the one that always complained about them being oh, too noisy. Yep. Uh, Mr. Trigger, the guy who Joey had to ballroom dance with, was Gemini. Big mustache. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Janice Ugh. was Sagittarius. So Gunther was Scorpio. Ross was a Libra. We already did that one. And Richard Burke. Dr. Richard Burke was a Pisces. That's mine. Mm-hmm. He was good. Was, he, was that Tom Selleck? Yeah. How do I oh, all these? watch this joke. Hey, who needs some glasses at the party when he came out with the wine glasses to the optometrist party? <laughs> watch this kills him every time. Who needs glasses? <laughs> it kills. That's so dumb. I'm sure every field but has yeah. a joke that they all... I don't, radio, we don't have a joke, though, do we? We don't have a radio joke. We, there's just we? the face for radio is the same. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, if you're going to watch TV tonight because the Astros are playing the Mariners, look for our very own Eric, who's in the rich seats. And I don't mean rich. I mean rich, bitch, seats. Yeah. First row. Pardon my French. First row. The key to... Right by the batting circle. Is to have friends that are really rich and successful. And, and don't just, use their tickets. Yeah. And you can just <laughs> leech, uh, be a leech, and I just got them. So I'll be in the front, right by where... Uh, uh, they they warm up before they go on the uh, on deck circle. I'll the be right on there. deck circle. I'm, I think I'm gonna wear a, a bright orange. Yeah, do something. Polo says Astros, so you'll stick out. You'll see me. Because if you do green, that's not Mariners colors, right? I was saying you can do green for orbit, and that really sticks out on TV, but not because you'd be in a sea of orange if you if you wore orange. Uh, you'll see me. I'll make sure. You gotta wear that make orbit sure. hat that claps. I like it. Oh, yeah. Do it. Do a big it. puppet that claps on your head. All right. If you missed what happened on the Rule and Ryan's Roses update, you're gonna hear it next because we did not have an update with crazy verbal abuser uh, Danielle. We talked to Mike, her victim, her boyfriend. What he say? Find out next on the Rule and Ryan show.